trapped in here. Release the door locks and get me out. Thank you. Thanks for getting me out of there. I got trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the Armament Division, where I was issued one of the new BFG-9000 series weapons. <laughs> well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get started by the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach the main channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this PFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Keith Abrams, and the log. Show all passages out of your area blocked. The only way through is by traversing the EFR, a mechanical subsystem with two possible routes to it. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting systems are fried. Make a choice, Marine. Good luck.
This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24, 2145. I don't know how it's going to work, so I'll just talk about what I know. I've had quite a few employees reporting me that they've heard strange sounds. Calling me. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kill around, but they sure did they were serious. I ignored the stories at first. Until one day, I heard something too. I was working on one of the lift-up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, Over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. I looked around, but I didn't see another soul. I even checked the work logs, and no one else was working in that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys were even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you. Henry Nelson.
Take positions. All quiet. Did you hear that? This is late. Give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. Go on! What the hell? Offline. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the fleet. You're the last hope to get reinforcements. Find that card and find it fast. inspection of the cooling system, I discovered yet another safety violation. Gas As I've stopped. stated repeatedly, Fire our service manuals must be followed to the momentum. And this includes changing back filters for the cooling system on schedule and not when maintenance gets around to it. As you know, unclean back filters will create pressure inside the cooling system's release tubes. Even a minor disruption in a release tube can dislodge or destroy its coolant rod, overheating the core, and possibly sending the entire facility up in smoke. Now let me be clear, if I see this again, the team responsible will be transferred to sewage treatment before the day is over. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the NPRO facility. I appreciate UAC's concerns following the number of stress-related illnesses spreading throughout the base. However, I don't understand why we require such a large detail of armed security bots in NPRO. Now you may disagree, but I trust my team's mental condition far more than whatever programming is running inside those bots. Which brings me to the reason for this report. Today, one of my best engineers, Patrick Thomas, was nearly shot when a bot refused to do That's right, shot. Luckily, a nearby team from maintenance caught up to it and smashed it with a pipe wrench before it could take back down. Now, it'll be days before he's ready to return to work, and I don't think he'll ever get him close to one of those bots again. Our jobs are difficult enough without needing to avoid getting shot. If we're going to be treated like prisoners, I respectfully request that you afford us the courtesy of being guarded by people instead of machines.
main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Warning, coolant rod 2 offline. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We've realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the NPRO plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. Service bridge now operational.
85 degrees Celsius. Warning, reactor core temperature beyond acceptable levels. You gotta find that transmission card. If Swan gets his hands on it, I don't know what he'll do.
Steve Hammer, service technician. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a plasma gun, we've all been a bit nervous. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine wouldn't accept his credits, he lost it. Started swearing up and down. You had to laugh when that machine lit up, but before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need the additional security, but when the guards start going nuts... I don't know, all this extra weapons and ammunition... I mean, do we really need so much firepower laying around? Well, a couple of us decided to lock up all of the unsecured plasma rounds we could find. The code is 734. I think we'll all sleep a bit better tonight knowing it's locked up.